Welcome back everybody. Today we're looking at the product from Klein Tools. It's the GFCI receptacle tester with LCD. Part number is RT250. So what makes this different? It's not your standard with a little three lights on there for fault, pass, or any kind of issues like that. This actually has an, a digital readout to kind of give you a little bit more of a accurate view or just a little bit more engaged. So let's look at this. You can get a close view of this, okay? Let you zoom into that, all right? Some of the items that are included inside of this package is two AAA batteries, so that's good. One less item to have to buy. So let's flip it over and see what they have on here. All right, just a little bit of uh, information here. All right, let's open this device up and see what we have to work with, and then we'll start testing it out here in a few minutes. All right, cut around it. There we go. Pop that out right there. Take this out as well. Put that there. Take the batteries out. Put that there. And let's see what we have here. Put it all nicely and neatly right there for us to view. All righty, let's see what we have here. User manual, all right. I think the most important one we will look at is gonna be this one right here. I'll give you a chance to zoom into this one so that you can at least see all the different items and it does have it in different uh, languages. So pick your language and away you go, okay? But we, we have some one through six, which is power button, G, FCI test button, LCD display, indicator leds battery compartment plug and then on the lcd itself we have voltage slash gfci trip time in seconds wiring fault indicators gfci mode indicator hold mode indicator low battery indicator hazardous voltage indicator and correct wiring indicator all right let's look and see what we have here so we'll zoom in on this right quick let you check it out Flip it around a little. There we go. Green light and a red light. So we'll go ahead and remove that right now. The satisfying part, not an iPhone, but it'll do. There we go. Put that there. All right. Let's flip this over, install those batteries and see what we have. All right this out right here right quick all right there are the batteries right there let's go ahead and take the batteries out and install them all right install the first battery we'll put it this way install the next battery and we'll install this one this way so let's go ahead and put everything back in and close it up Not too tight, just hand tight. All right, now that we have the battery in there, we have to hit the power button. And if you look at the actual diagram, it's number one right here. So we'll hold this button and you don't just push it. You have to hold it for a second. And then you get nice colors. You saw the red turn on, the green turn on. And I like the back uh, LCD. It's uh, a nice visual blue. So that's very nice. I like that. Okay. Have that test button right there. I'm sure it'll go off. So let's go ahead and test this out and see how it works. And we're gonna use the same um, concept that we did when we used the other Klein Voltage uh, digital meter, multimeter. So let me go ahead and get my actual surge protector and see how it works with that. Be right back. Okay, everybody. I had a chance to set up my little test scenario here using the uh, Klein GFCI receptacle tester with LCD. So the first thing we're gonna do is just test it out on this surge protector to see if everything's good. And then after this, we'll go ahead and give it a uh, couple of other tests. I have a cable that I've set up already that creates a fault in it to indicate if there is a fault or not. But first let's look at what should be a correct wiring setup, okay? So let's power this on, hold it, there it goes. All right, as you can tell, this is uh, no power in it. So let's turn this on. There's our power, red, and it's protected. So let's go ahead and plug this in. You'll notice it's a green light, flip this over. 
as you can tell right there it says correct 123 so it is reading it correct now the one thing i want to test to see is if it will actually do the actual test on this let's check it out yes it did as you can tell the power went out so let me go ahead and uh turn that power back on and then we'll go from there to show that we have it electricity again all righty i just connected the power back on reset the receptacle i do have a uh, gf uh, receptacle so it's easy to reset it instead of going to the actual box so there we go it's reset and it's working perfect all right again it says correct i can turn this off you can tell right there what happens all right good job all right let's turn it back on see it goes to zero once you turn it off let's turn it back on boom goes right back to it all right so let's go ahead and set up the other case scenario to see if it gives us that fault okay so i'll leave that right there and let me go ahead and get the other wire set up for us okay everybody let's go ahead and turn this off let it go back to its regular setting you'll notice it go back here in a second to zeros should at least all right so let's go ahead and plug it into this other cable that i have right here which i've actually set up to create a fault let's check it out there you go shows a fault all right open ground so in here there's an open ground that i didn't connect and that just tells me that it is so it gives me the fault indicator and it tells me what it is in open ground all right we'll disconnect that all righty everybody that's a wrap for this one and the last of the electrical items that i will be reviewing for right now um, as I mentioned at the beginning, this is the Klein Tools GFCI receptacle tester with LCD. Um, I think it's well worth it. It's like 19 bucks at Home Depot. Um, just to be able to have a display and kind of give me exactly what it is and, you know, not having to go through uh, reading the actual indicators on the old ones. The other ones are great. If anything, this might get more damage on the screen. I don't know. Time will tell if it's scratch, how scratch resistant it is or not. But for now, I do like it. I plan to keep it in a bag, so hopefully it won't get too tore up. Um, let's look at it one more time, and we'll power it on. There's the boot up. Open, hot, the triple zeros, Klein Tools, R250. There's the back of it. Here's the front of it. Here's the other side of it. And there we go, back to it. you like this video consider commenting and if you want to help me out subscribe and check out the next video that way you're alerted when it comes out have a great one